Blaze Blue, right? And no one was streaming Blaze Blue. And I checked it a couple of days, no one streamed Blaze Blue. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We need to change that. Someone needs to start streaming Blaze Blue. So that's why I started streaming Blaze Blue like three years ago. Because of uh, Chrono Phantasma. Chrono Phantasma was legit. I think Chrono Phantasma is like my favorite fighting game of all time. Either Chrono Phantasma, Street Fighter Alpha 2, or Third Strike. Those three were like the cool stuff. Cool stuff. Elion is saying, tell them about the legendary story we had at EVO. Oh my god. Are you sure, Elion? I don't know if people are ready for uh, for that legendary story. Alright, I'm gonna tell you a legendary story of Elion, alright? Actually, I guess we can do it in two parts. This is gonna be like Lord of the Rings, you know? We need, we need two or three parts to this story. So anyway, so I went to EVO, right? The tournament or whatever. And then the next day, um, I met up with Elion, and then Elion is like, "Yo, I got ninth place, which I didn't. I didn't saw the tournament, so I didn't know I was doing a virtual fighter tournament, and uh, that was pretty cool. And then, uh, by the way, Elion, uh, he told me that he put me as a as a sponsor. You know how people put like in the first, they put like the sponsor and then their name. So he said he put like EWF Elion." on the bracket which was pretty cool but anyway so i was like elion what are you gonna do with it and this is like ah, i just gonna go to sleep and he's like dude you cannot go to sleep right you got nine plays with you people want to talk to you people want to see you man let's go to bar fights so, I'm ba so i was like let's go to bar fights dude let's go to eat or whatever and it, finally i convinced elion after a long time i convinced him to go to bar fights oh nice hit Finally convinced him to go to war fights. And uh, you know, we went to war fights, we went to the line and everything. It's in the same casino, it's on the Mandalay. So we went to the line, they search uh, the searches and everything. They give us like the um, the wristband, you know, that we were gonna be on bar fights. So we, we got a wristband and everything we went in. And then we see people like walking to the right. Like we got in and then see people walking to the right. So it's like Alright, well, I guess we're gonna follow these people. And then we start following them. And then we following them to outside. So we got into bar fights. We saw people walking. We followed them all the way to outside of the bar. And then we were like, oh shit, we fucked up, Elion. Let's go back. And then we wanted to go back through the exit. And then there was this lady that's like, stop. You guys cannot go in, go back to the line. And then we look at the fucking line and it was like three times the size. And it's like, oh shit, get wrecked. We got wrecked because of the line. By the way, Neo Buster is gonna get this fight. So this is gonna be three to two. Neo Buster have eliminated Rectic. However, Rectic wasn't necessarily playing with his main character. But I really uh, appreciate that you show some cool Mika and everything. So let's see. Who won that? Neo Buster, right? The Neo Buster got it. 3 to 2. So I finally convinced Elion to go to the bar fights. We went to bar fights and we just like got into a line to outside of the line. God damn it. And then, you know, Elion was like, yeah, man, it's all right. We can go. We can go and uh, eat something. And then the weirdest thing is that we didn't know that we didn't need to do a, a second line. So we got in. If we wanted, we could, we could just be like, okay, we already have the wristband. Let us go in. And we, did, we could like skip the line, but we didn't know. So we went to war fights. We, we got in and then we got out and then we wanted to go in again. And they're like, no, go back to the line. And that was pretty much it. I got wrecked by the line uh, at the House of Blues. It was fun though. We went to eat some. Uh, we went to eat some hot dogs, uh, hot dogs with uh, get over get, and it was a lot of fun. But yeah, that was a, a legendary story right there. All right, here we go. Neanderthal versus Neo Buster. This is gonna be winner uh, loser finals. By the way, these fights I gonna upload to my YouTube channel. So you wanna check it again? You can either watch them on past broadcasts or go to my YouTube, Escaping World Force, on YouTube. And if you want to support um, the YouTube channel, please do so. 
Check out my YouTube channel, Escaping World Force on YouTube. If you like fighting games, uh, give me a follow on YouTube. Show me what you can do. All right, here we go. Thank you guys, I appreciate the support, as always. Evil lines were very, uh, very wrong. Or long, I don't know. I don't think evil lines were long. They were not really that long. I don't remember ever being like in a line. But then again, um, I miss a lot of evil, dude. Because I was doing the side tournament for Virtual Fighter, so. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, nice super. Oh, Neo Buster. Neo Buster wants to beat up Neanderthal before he wakes up. We want to get those fights before he wake up, dude. Oh, DP. Got both. Now he's gonna get punished. Oh, okay. Oh, double close-up. Why not? Yeah, so that was happened when I meet up Alien. We went to the House of Blues, aka bar fights, and then... Uh, we got the wrong line. We end up outside of the House of Blues again. It was funny then. It was funny though. We got some hot dogs after that, it was cool. I feel that we issues with the side tournament side tournament games at Evo. Um I don't know. I was having some problems at the beginning for the internet. Like my problem was the internet at the beginning. Because you know, you uh you have like fifteen thousand people at Evo. And they're all using their phones. So if the only way to get internet at Evo, at least that I know, is through Wi-Fi. So the problem for the for my side tournament at the beginning was that there was a lot of interference for the Wi-Fi. So at the beginning of the tournament was a little bit weird with the internet. And then um, we finally I finally got a Wi-Fi connection directly to the to the casino and then that held the tournament so the beginning was a little bit rough then after that it was pretty cool and then top four was amazing so pretty pretty happy about that that was the only problem that i remember having on the tournament it wasn't that much of a problem from my side it was pretty fun oh cross up oh nice overhead Oh, jump back! Good low. Oh, DP. Yeah, people like to do that. People are starting to like um, understand how to fight against Blake because Blake Blake have an overhead, right? Which is her C attack. But if she do it on the air, she basically teleport. So if you are like far away and then you throw that like C, she teleports in, to into an overhead. A lot of people don't know that. That gets they get people by surprise pretty often. Oh, gonna get punished. Our right, activation, Super Saiyan mode. Follow it up. Air to air. Oh! Cross up. No, did not connect. Oh, DP. All right, here we go. Oh, that was a pretty good use of the resonance. All right, correct me if I'm wrong. Are we one and one? By the way, I should have used my scoreboard. Cranky saying, yeah, because told me that everyone didn't have good internet connection with using Wi-Fi to a stream. Yeah, that was definitely a problem. The the problem the problem with uh, the beginning of the tournament was that you have fifteen thousand people, everyone is using their phone, and that's gonna cause a lot of interference. Like in my case, I, I got the internet connection from the casino. And then I bought a 4G LTE hotspot just for streaming. And even so, I was having some problems at the beginning. So 
That, that was a that's just a problem, you know. The only way that you can stream without problems like that is just getting a like a line like a landline, and it was impossible. If if I could have get a, a land line of internet uh, at Evo, I would have done it. But it's not possible. They they just ha you have to do it with Wi-Fi. So that was definitely one of the problems for the side tournament. And then let's see. There was an, e an issue with Evo 7 that to archive the top horse. Yes, that you are right on that, Clanky. So the side tournaments were streamed at Evo 7 and they didn't save the tournaments uh, on Twitch. However, for what I know, uh, Evo did save the tournaments locally. So they recorded it on their computer and they're gonna release them uh, later. Uh, I have been contacting some of the guys who do the tournament with me they're talking to Evo and apparently they're gonna get the um, they're gonna get the local uh, rec uh, record of um, the top fours but yeah they, they did have some problems with Evo 7 you ride on that yeah I think so I think how it is. Black Dragon what's up dude Oh snap, is that 3-0? Yeah, I think that was 3-0. Neanderthal. Holy shit, man. Making a crazy comeback now. 